For real. Maybe I like you that way. Maybe I like you that way. Maybe I like you that way. Maybe I like you. Well, hello, and thank you so much for joining me here today on my channel. If you are new, my name is Ange, aka 50 Cents UK. And if you are a regular, thank you so much for coming back. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram as well if you don't already. Same name, 50 cents underscore UK. Would love to have you there. Anyway, guys, creamy perfumes. Who doesn't love a velvety smooth creamy perfume? I know I do. But guys, the title of this video, okay, don't take it literally. I'm not telling you run out and buy all these perfumes, no way. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. If I went out and bought every perfume that I was interested in that I'm watching and seeing all these other people enjoy, I'd be living off baked beans, yeah? Tins of baked beans, literally. So be mindful, don't take everything too literally. It's entertainment, you know? So before we get into the perfumes, I just wanted to say, right, as well as perfume, I love all things girly, right? I love makeup, I love jewellery, I love fashion, all of that kind of thing. So I wanted to share with you some gorgeous jewellery that I got sent by Anna Luisa. Now, if you're not familiar with Anna Luisa, I will give you a bit of info on them, but I just wanna share this beautiful jewellery. Like, I am wearing this beautiful pendant necklace, it's gold, and then this silver heart necklace. They are so delicate and dainty and just absolutely gorgeous. I know it's gold and silver together, but I don't care. I don't play by the rules. I like stacking my jewellery, and I think this just looks so gorgeous. Check out Anna Luisa's jewellery, guys. You will not be disappointed. These beautiful statement earrings as well that I'm wearing. Guys, have you ever had jewellery, right, that you can even wear in the shower? I kid you not. I actually wore these earrings in the shower and they didn't tarnish, they didn't go a funny colour, they didn't irritate my ears. None of this jewellery irritates. It's such good quality. So Ana Luisa are a sustainable brand that believe that good quality jewellery shouldn't cost the earth, and that is so true. They produce all their pieces ethically, so there's no unnecessary mining. They even use recycled cardboard gift boxes, which I think is great. So not only are you getting beautiful jewellery, you are doing your bit for the environment. I mean, guys, just take another look at these earrings. I mean, so, so gorgeous. And by the way, I wouldn't recommend that you go in the shower with your jewellery. It's just that if you're a lazy mofo like me and you do stupid shiz like that, then yeah, that's the kind of thing I do, but I wouldn't recommend it. Look after the jewellery because I think this jewellery will last so long. It is such high quality. At the moment, Anna Luisa have got their spring sale on, which is buy one piece, get one 40% off. I mean, what's not to love? grab yourself a complete bargain, have a look and thank me later, guys. I actually lost count how many times I've mentioned this perfume, but honorary mention, C. Fiori, beautiful, creamy, cloudy, light, musky perfume. Absolutely adore it. Just wanted to mention it. Obviously, I've mentioned it a million and one times, but check this one out. Super creamy, beautiful, milky, yummy, fragrance. Right, so the first one I want to show you is this one, and this is Kenzo Amore. Now, I have got rid of that ridiculously long lid that this comes with, because it's just a nightmare to store. I don't know if you own this perfume, but you know what I'm saying, it's got that really huge lid. I'll put a picture somewhere up so you can see it, but I hate that kind of thing, so I got rid of that. But the perfume itself, so lovely. Mmm soft, milky, creamy deliciousness. This is very vanilla based. This has a rice note, so it's like a creamy, warm rice pudding. You get some frangipani in this, some cherry blossom, some heliotrope, along with some woody notes that are in the base and a bit of incense. 
Although I wouldn't say this is particularly incensey, you just get that tiniest hint. It's very musky and vanilla heavy. I would say that dominates the woodiness and the incense in it but it has a gorgeous, warm, creamy dry down and it's light. This is not the sort of perfume that's gonna like choke anybody out. I think most of these perfumes I'm gonna show you today, they're not really gonna choke anyone out. They're just creamy, sweet, velvety, smooth perfumes and this one is no exception. I would say I wished it lasted a little bit longer. I'd probably get a good four, maybe five hours at a push from this one, but it's a pretty scent. It's gorgeous for this time of year. And yeah, definitely recommend that one. Next up is an affordable gem and it's this one. It's Pink Sugar Creamy Sunshine. Guys, if you like the original Pink Sugar, you'll definitely like this. But even if you don't like the original Pink Sugar, which I don't particularly like, but I do enjoy the flankers for some reason because they don't have that really heavy, harsh kind of licorice note that the original one does. But guys, this is a super creamy, tropical, sugary, coconutty take on the original pink sugar. So this one, as I said, oh, it's so beautiful. It has coconut in it. It's got tiare flower, it's got mimosa, it's got caramel, sandalwood, it has vanilla. Obviously it's got sugar in it, but oh, it smells delicious. It's very creamy in the dry down. Not bad for lasting considering it is a cheapy, but yeah, if you like that whole sweet sugary pink sugar vibe, but with a bit of a tropical twist, check this one so out. So next up we have Princess by Killian. Now, I can't be bothered to say the long-winded name, but you know the one I mean, guys. This perfume is growing on me, I have to say. When I first got it, I was like, mm, it's just a meh to me. It's not like living up to the hype that it was given. So I kind of parked it and didn't wear it and you know my daughter was wearing it and liking it. It smelt lovely on her but on me I was just like mm, it's nothing special. However I've been revisiting it lately and I found it quite delightful I have to say. The marshmallow note in this gives it that lovely smooth creaminess, that airy feel I think comes from the tea that's in this so it is a bit fresh, it's not as dense as some of the others that I've spoken about. So this one opens up a bit zesty, it has some lemon in it, it has peach in it, I love a good peach note. So yeah I am starting to like this one a lot more than I did initially, still don't think it performs as amazing as it should for the price point. I wish it was a little bit longer lasting. It might just be my skin, I don't know. But yeah, it is a very pleasant smell and I do like So I couldn't have this list without including my beloved Delina Exclusive. Now, guys, if you haven't smelt this, where have you been? Why, why? This smells so freaking beautiful. Okay, I would probably go as far to say that this could be my favourite perfume of all time, or maybe it's in the top three of my favourite perfumes of all time. This has never, ever let me down. Like, every time I wear this, someone either asks me what it is I'm wearing or says, oh, you smell amazing, and I can always smell this on myself as well. This is one of the very few perfumes that throughout the wear, I can smell it myself. There are a lot of perfumes that I know smell good on me, but other people can smell them. I can't particularly smell them. This one, I can smell it all the time. I'm sure you know what Delina smells like anyway, but it's that beautiful pear lychee opening. But the exclusive version, it has that added sexiness. It's a little bit more grown up. It has that oud in it that just gives it that Mm, oomph that the original Delina doesn't quite have. I do love original Delina, don't get me wrong, I love that one too, but this one is just that little bit more next level as far as I'm concerned, and the dry down is so creamy, smooth, delightful. This is blended to perfection, this lasts forever, and it just smells divine. This next one is one that I'm say? quite surprised that I like as much as I do, considering that it is a floral perfume, and it is this one, and it is Gucci Flora Eau de Parfum. Now guys, the bottle's stunning, 
The smell is stunning. This gem has been discontinued, so I hear. If you want this one, guys, I would say do try and get this one before it goes away because this is a beautiful perfume. Even if you don't like florals, like I'm not a floral lover as such, but this is one floral perfume that I really do like. And you know why? Because it's creamy. I realized that's why I like it. It's creamy, it's buttery, it's smooth, it's delicious. It just smells so stunning. In the top with this, you get some peony, you get some citruses. I don't really smell the citruses too much. That's why I know on Fragrantica they say this is a fresh perfume. I don't find it fresh. I find it quite dense and quite heavy and creamy and just lush. It smells very luxurious and just mm, beautiful. This does have rose listed in it. However, I don't really pick up the rose as such. I would say the peony is a bit more prominent, the osmanthus rather than the rose, but I'm sure all the florals blended together just give off this divine scent. And yeah, I highly recommend you checking it out before it disappears. Next up, another favorite of mine, and this is Mansera's Coco Vanille. Beautiful, creamy, delicious coconut with peach, musk, vanilla. I mean, this is such a gorgeous scent, like I adore it. Oh, every time I smell this, this just transports me. You know, certain perfumes invoke certain memories in you. Like, oh, this just makes me think of paradise. It's tropical. That coconut just gives it such a creamy, milky feel, especially in the dry down. I love peach in my perfumes as well. So it gives it a little bit of a freshness and a fruitiness, but it's not overly fresh at all. And then in the dry down, you get that beautiful creamy vanilla along with the musk and a bit of woodiness. Perfection, again, another one of my absolute favorite perfumes. Next up, we have Lover Dose Tattoo by Diesel. Now, this, is a perfume that has grown on me, okay? When I first got this, again, I wasn't enamored by it. I think it's the opening. The opening was a little bit off-putting to me, but give this 10 minutes on your skin and the dry down, guys, the dry down is where the magic comes in this perfume. This perfume does have some fruity notes in the top and to me, I don't get the fruitiness in this perfume. To me, this is more of a gourmand, creamy, vanilla perfume. It's warm, it's comforting, it's cozy. There's an actual milk note in this, there's an actual rice note in this. So again, it's kind of rice pudding-ish, but in a beautiful, well-rounded, sophisticated way. And guys, for the price point, I don't think you can go wrong. This isn't a really expensive perfume. It's not a super, super cheap perfume either. It's kind of somewhere in the middle. But if you want that lactonic, cozy, creamy feel, and to me, this one is one that you can wear all year round, definitely. It's beautiful. It really is. So if you like vanilla, if you like tonka, if you like milky creaminess, look no further. This next one was quite a surprise for me because I didn't think I would like it as much as I do. And it is Eilish by Billie Eilish. I know some people love the bottle, some people hate the bottle. I'm not really concerned about it. I like the smell of what's inside and that is what counts. Guys, this is fruity, warm, sugary, sweet, and really creamy. When I say sweet, guys, this is so sweet. This is super sweet, but I love a super sweet perfume. I actually adore sweet perfumes. So you definitely have to like sweet perfumes to enjoy this and like really sweet perfumes. I can't emphasize the really enough, but you get what I'm saying. It's fruity when it first opens. It's almost like a, 
like a raspberry milkshake or something like that. That's what it reminds me of, or a strawberry milkshake. You know those Nesquik milkshakes that you used to get as a kid, like that has the powder and you just mix it up with the milk. That's the kind of vibe I get from this. Now there is cacao in this, but I don't get kind of like a chocolatey vibe from it. Maybe that's what attributes to making it creamy, that kind of cacao, smooth, chocolatey note that's in there. It doesn't smell chocolatey to me. Like I said, it smells more of like a strawberry milkshake or some kind of fruity milkshake but I really like it guys this one I like to wear to bed as well it's very comforting it really does aid sleep very well as far as I'm concerned but not that you should use this as a sleeping aid but you know what I'm saying it's nice to kind of cozy up in bed with some really sort of sweet comforting cozy scent and yeah this is lovely so if you haven't smelt this one check it out because I think it's more widely available now at first it was like really difficult to get but now I think you can kind of get it at a lot of different places and it's not overly expensive I, I suppose for a celebrity perfume it's a little bit on the expensive side but I really am enjoying this scent and my daughters like it too so thumbs up Last but not least we have this little darling and this is La Via Belle Intense this is a recent acquisition for me and I am absolutely loving it. You know how much I love La Via Belle. This is La Via Belle, but with whipped cream and hazelnuts. I mean, guys, what sounds better than that? Just, I just don't have words for it. This is gorgeous. Again, it has that fruity pear, currant buds in the top to give it that nice little sort of zestiness. And then you get the beautiful florals in the mid with that creamy lactonic whipped cream and hazelnut in the base. Perfection in a bottle as far as I'm concerned. This one can be hard to find because it's discontinued, which I think is a shame and an absolute travesty. Lancome, what were you doing when you discontinued this one? This is possibly my favorite La Via Belle it's so gorgeous but anyway yeah La Via Belle Intense lasts forever on the skin such a compliment getter so girly so pretty just yummy love it if you like original La Via Belle you will love this check it out if you guys can. I am smelling like a whole snack up in here right now in fact a free course meal forget the snack oh everything just smells so gorgeous like I could just put on all these perfumes and say that that's my signature scent and be quite happy for the rest of my days. But anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. If you got to this point, I appreciate you. Put a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite creamy perfume is. You might give me an idea to go out and get something new. But anyway, guys, Enjoy the rest of your day, whatever you may be doing, wherever you may be, and I will see you again very soon.